Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. Today on the DCC Guy, I want to talk to you about a topic that I initially um, touched on back in video number 97 on circuit breakers for your model railroad. The one that I talked about back then was ballast lamps, okay? And I promised that I would have uh, another video soon on ballast lamps and an improved circuit for ballast lamps. So stick around and we'll take a look at using uh, taillight bulbs for or ballast lamps for circuit breakers on your model railroad. In that uh, video on uh, circuit breakers, video 97, and I'll put a link to it right up here, um, I talked about uh, how ballast lamps work and how circuit breakers work. And just as a quick refresher, all you do is you wire this into your uh, DCC power bus to a given isolated block. And it goes between the command station or booster and your first feeders uh, on the layout. And then what happens is, anytime a short occurs, um, these things are rated at 2.5 amps. Okay, So they will allow up to 2.5 amps to flow through them to the layout. In a short circuit, uh, your command station will be trying to put out 5 amps or 8 amps or however many amps it's rated at. Uh, but the filaments in the bulb will limit the current flow through them to the uh, layout to 2.5 amps. So if you've got a 5 amp booster, you know, you're still going to have 2.5 amps left over to run the rest of your layout. That's why you have to be aware when you have a short circuit on the layout and you have to remove the short circuit quickly because it, it impacts the, uh, the amount of power available to operate your other trains on the layout. And it also gets very hot very quickly. But there are solutions uh, for getting around that. And the one I want to talk about today is a circuit uh, designed uh, by uh, Dick Bronson uh, at Railroad Circuits uh, over in uh, uh, near Charlotte, North Carolina. And the circuit he designed uses a, a device called a, uh, a little fuse or a multi-fuse. Uh, but what it really comes down to, it's a resettable fuse. By installing this little device on the, the bulb in the way that I'm going to show you in a minute, it will allow you uh, to still operate at up to about 2.5 amps uh, in each block. And then if a short occurs, this light bulb is going to come on and it's going to limit the amount of current uh, going to that block to 2.5 amps. Okay, And that's because it has two filaments in here. One that runs at about 2.1 amps and another at, two, at 0.4 amps to give you a total of 2.5. Now, the thing about this is that once the light comes on and it starts to heat this little device up, what happens is after about 30 or 40 seconds, it trips the circuit, okay? And it shuts off the circuit to the larger filament in this bulb. So instead of the circuit pulling 2.5 amps, it only pulls 0.4 amps, okay? So it greatly reduces the load on your command stations and boosters and allows the rest of your layout to really keep operating. In addition, it keeps things cooler, okay? Because you've only got 0.4 amps flowing through a filament and that's not gonna heat up anywhere near as much as you would if it was uh, pulling 2.5 amps at 14 volts. You can do the math and figure out what kind of wattage that is. It comes out to about 35 watts. So you get about as much heat out of this you know, as you would out of a 35 watt light bulb. And that's another concern about using these ballast lamps like the old 1156. It's because at 2.5 amps, they heat up a lot. You're better off to use this uh, circuit design because it's going to limit the amount of current being used. It's going to limit the amount of heat being generated. So what I want to do now, though, is focus down onto the uh, workbench and show you how to put one of these together. To start off, I want to give you a demonstration of how one of these works, uh, one of the ballast lamps works uh, on the layout. So I have my uh, little switcher here set up uh, with a, uh, a five, oh no, an 8 amp uh, command station. So we got plenty of power and you can see from the little flashing beacon here on the top of the locomotive that I've got power and we'll get it started a little bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do now then is I've got the light bulb right here. 
I'm going to put uh, a screwdriver across the track and short it out. And watch what happens. See how bright that light is? And it's already getting very hot. Okay. So what that did then is it limited the amount of current going to the track to two and a half amps. And it was running at full brightness. Okay. Um, but what I want to do is show you a circuit that will in fact limit that amount of current. And that circuit, I'm going to change it out here and show you one that I've already put together. Okay. Okay. And that consists of a light bulb, tail light bulb for an automobile. And this is the number 2057 tail light bulb. Okay, and it's got two filaments in here. One for the uh, stop light and one for the, uh, the, the tail light. So there's one that's very bright and there's one that's dimmer. So what I want to do now is repeat that test and show you what happens when I short it out. Now watch. So you can see both uh, filaments are lit up. And after about 30 seconds, what's going to happen is uh, the little fuse that I've included in this circuit is going to trip. And when that trips, it's going to cut off power to the larger of the two filaments, the one that's pulling 2.1 amps. So we're going to drop down to 0.4 amps. And you can see that right there. And the bulb is still hot because, you know, it was running at, at a full 2.5 amps. So this is going to give you a much, great, much more reduced load on your command station. And it's going to run a lot cooler. And it's only going to use 0.4 amps or so because that's what that second filament is rated at. Okay, so let me go ahead now. Now let me point out that this is not a circuit that I came up with. This is a circuit that Dick Bronson at RailroadCircuits.com came up with. So what I want to do now is get in a little bit closer and I'm going to show you uh, how to put one of these together. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this, uh, how this circuit works and then we'll actually build one. So as I've said, it's based on the 2057 uh, taillight uh, bulb. And, you know, you can pick these up at any auto parts store or on eBay. I got 10 of them uh, off of eBay at a very good price. And basically they have two filaments in here. Uh, one, the stoplight filament rated at 2.1 amps. And then the taillight filament itself rated at 0.4 amps. So if you wire those two together, you'll get 2.5 amps. What we're going to do is use a special little uh, component here uh, called a PTC fuse. And what this fuse does is uh, once the current gets above a certain point flowing through it, it will shut that part of the circuit down. So what I'm going to do is show you how to wire this into the 2.1 amp filament so that when a short occurs on the layout and it's You've got 2.5 amps flowing through here with 2.1 amps flowing through the large filament. Uh, this is eventually going to shut down. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds to reach its temperature and then it will trip. And it will shut off the flow through that particular filament. And as a result, the only flow that you'll get is through the smaller filament at 0.4 amps. So, your large uh, filament will drop out completely and you're only going to be having 0.4 amps flowing through the circuit. So that is a very positive thing because suddenly uh, your command station is not going to have to provide more than 0.4 amps to the shorted block. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to build one of these because they're fairly easy to do. I have the bulb um, set in place using a piece of uh, my blue tack that I've previously shown you. And, you know, I saw, I, I went ahead and uh, pre tanned a spot here on the side of the bulb. Uh, and we're just going to attach this white wire to it. And that's going to be one leg of the electrical pathway. Okay. There. Let that cool. Okay, there it is. Now, for the rest of the circuit, um, we want to attach this little device here, which is the uh, PTC fuse. So there we've got the bulb in place now. 
And what I'm going to do is place this, the two legs of this fuse on the two contacts on the bottom here. Okay, and attach them. Okay, now that's cooled off enough to let go. The next step is to uh, connect the wire. This is going to be attached to the smaller uh, of the two uh, filaments, the 0.4 amp filament. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, make that connection. Okay, the way this is set up then is um, we have power coming in through the hot wire and it can go through the little fuse, go through the filament and come out the return wire, the white wire. Also, it can go through the other filament here, the 0.4 amp filament, uh, go right on through bypassing the uh, fuse and then come back. Okay, So those are our two paths. Now what happens is when the current goes above 2.5 amps, say it's when a short circuit occurs, this is going to heat up, it's going to uh, trip, okay, and it's going to shut out this leg of the circuit. So that 2.1 amp uh, filament is going to go dark. Whereas this side here, which bypasses this guy, is going to go directly to the filament, come back, and that 0.4 amp one is going to stay lit. That's going to be your reminder to remove the short circuit, okay? That's the great thing about these uh, light bulbs is, when they come on, when they light up, you can see that, and you know that there is a short circuit that needs to be taken care of. So that's all it is. Now, to set this up, let me zoom out again. To set this up, all you have to do is hook up one wire to the bus feed from your command station, and the other wire continues on to the bus going on out to your uh, isolated block. And you might have four, you might have eight blocks. I have a friend who has 30 of these set up on his layout. It's a big layout. Uh, but basically then, um, that power will flow through here as long as it's under two and a half amps and you'll have power to your isolated block. Whenever you have a short circuit on your layout, initially, both filaments are gonna come on. You're gonna have two and a half amps flowing through here, and it's gonna be very bright, so you're gonna see it right away, hopefully. Then, after about 30 or 40 seconds, then this fuse here is going to, uh, is going to uh, trip and break the circuit to the brighter filament, okay? The 2.1 amp filament. That one's going to go dim. The 0.4 amp, that's going to stay lit. It's going to limit the amount of current flowing to the block to 0.4 amps, but it's still going to be enough light there for you to know which uh, block needs attention and to go ahead and remove that uh, short circuit. Okay, so that's all there is to it. It's a very straightforward uh, circuit limiter that you can use on your model railroad. Well, that's it. If you have any questions about this, please add them to the comments and I'll take care of it. Hopefully then you'll be able to use uh, these uh, ballast lamps a lot safer now that you've got this new circuit uh, instead of using the old uh, 1156 bulbs, which really weren't the safest uh, way to go about it. And you'll also end up with more power on your layout as a result. Have a good weekend, be safe, and we'll see you again with a new video on Monday. Bye now.